Welcome back. All right, a career video today that I I thought, well, I have to have done a career video on Joe Mullen. Nope. So here we are. Uh, a Hall of Famer, National Hockey League Hall of Famer, who was undrafted. So again, if a player isn't drafted, doesn't necessarily mean they won't have an excellent career. He was a small, by NHL standards, player. So that's a detractor. He's also U.S. born. Now, an American-born player now, no big deal. Uh, but back in, in the late 70s, American-born players uh, didn't have the same reputation as, say, Canadian-born players. So he is signed as a free agent by the St. Louis Blues, undrafted, in 1979, on August 16th. 79-80, he did not play for the Blues during the regular season, but he did play a game in the playoffs. 80-81, he spent the entire year in the minors. 81-82, he started in the minors, didn't finish there. He ends up playing 45 games, gets 25 goals, 34 assists, 59 points. In the playoffs, in 10 games, 7 goals, 11 assists, 18 points. Pretty good. So he was 11th in Calder voting, which is notable because he only played 45 out of the 80 games. If he had played all 80 games, who knows? But again, the fact that he gets on the, the voting card at all, I think is impressive after only 45 games. 82-83, he goes through various injuries. Uh, plays 49 games that year, 17 goals, 30 assists for 47 points. 83-84, he finally plays a full game in the NHL. All 80 games played 41 goals, 44 assists, 85 points. So his points per game stay pretty consistent with the year before. His goals, excellent 40-goal season for him. In the playoffs, he adds two goals in six games. So things are going pretty well. 84-85, plays 79 games, 40 goals, 52 assists, 92 points. In the playoffs, he plays three games, does not record a point there. He was second in voting for the Lady Bing Trophy. Very gentlemanly player, didn't take a lot of penalties. 85-86, he had a contract dispute that kept him out for the first few games of the season. And so it's not, it's not that surprising he ends up being traded that year. February 1st, he was traded with Teddy Johnson as well as Rick Wilson in exchange for Eddie Beers, Charlie Bourgeois, and Gino Cavallini. And it really is a matter of a lot of names going back and forth there, but Joe Mullen is the reason that the Flames win this deal, hands down. Although Gino Cavallini had a good run with uh, St. Louis as well. I could do a video on Gino and Paul Cavallini, actually. Uh, but after that trade to Calgary, his, his numbers get better. Uh, in 29 games with the Flames, he gets 16 goals, 22 assists, 38 points. And 86 is the year where Calgary knocks out the Oilers and goes all the way to the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, he plays 21 games in the playoffs, 12 goals, 7 assists, 19 points. He's a big playoff producer. And so uh, this is this is a great move for Mullen. He had to be happy being in Calgary. 86-87, uh, plays 79 games with the Flames. 47 goals, which was 7th overall in the NHL. To go with 40 assists, 87 points in the playoffs. Six games played, two goals, one assist, three points, and he wins the Lady Bing Trophy. So, uh, some hardware there. 87-88, plays 80 games, 40 goals. So, he's at the 40-goal mark again. 44 assists, 84 points. In the playoffs, seven games played, two goals, four assists, six points. 88-89, this is where, honestly, Mullen's totals are ridiculous. In 79 games, 51 goals, which is fifth overall in the NHL that year. It is his first and only 50-goal season in his career. 59 assists, 110 points, which was 7th overall in the NHL that year. So Joe Mullen having himself quite the season. And it continues into the playoffs. In 21 playoff games, 16 goals, 8 assists, 24 points. Remarkable. Almost a goal per game. He played in the All-Star game that year. Wins the Stanley Cup with the Flames. So he's a member of the only Calgary team to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, Lady Bing, he wins that again, second time in three years. And he was a first-team All-Star playing on the left wing. Uh, so 89-90, what would end up being his final season in Calgary. 78 games played, 36 goals, 33 assists, 69 points. In the playoffs, three goals in six games. His point totals drop 41 points. His goal total drops 15 goals. Seeing that he's 33 years of age and Calgary probably wanting to save a little bit of money, probably wanting to avoid that, that drop-off for Mullen and trade him while he had some value. They trade him on June 16th to the Pittsburgh Penguins for a second-round pick in 1990 who did not play in the NHL. At least I don't recognize the name, so just throwing that out there. So 1991, his first year in Pittsburgh, he misses time with back surgery. 
right? So this this goes with what Calgary was worried about. But he plays 47 games for the Penguins, 17 goals, 22 assists, 39 points. But in the playoffs, he plays 22 games, 8 goals, 9 assists, 17 points. And there's the Stanley Cup. So he wins himself his second Stanley Cup in three seasons. Did he become a one-man dynasty? You know it. Uh, 91-92 in 72 games, 42 goals, which was 10th overall, 45 assists, 87 points. He does get a Stanley Cup ring, although he gets hurt. Gets hurt relatively early on. Only plays nine games in the playoffs. Three goals, one assist, four points. Uh, he had a knee injury during those playoffs. And so he only plays the nine games. But he gets a cup ring. And again, that's his third cup ring in four years. Pretty remarkable. That's Pat Maroon territory right there. Although Maroon had three in a row. Let's uh, give respect to Pat Maroon there. 92-93, 72 games played. 33 goals, 37 assists, 70 points. So he's back below 40 goals. But he's still producing over 30. In 12 playoff games, 4 goals, 2 assists, 6 points. Uh, the 92-93 Penguins, one of the best teams to not win the Stanley Cup. Absolutely remarkable team. 93-94, he plays all 84 games that year. 38 goals, 32 assists, 70 points. He was in the All-Star game for the final time in his career that year. In the playoffs, he plays 6 games and records 1 goal. 94-95, lockout shortened season of 48 games. So he plays 45 of those 48 games. 16 goals, 21 assists, 37 points. And in the playoffs, he records three assists in 12 games. He wins the Lester Patrick Trophy for his contributions to growing the game. And he did very well to do that. Again, an American-born player, 50-goal season, lots of 40-goal seasons. Shatters uh, a lot of preconceived notions about him as being an undersized player, as well as being an American-born player. So really opened the eyes of some people there. 95-96. He actually played Boston that year. September 13th, he signed as a UFA. He was not himself uh, dealing with a herniated disc. And then he also had a sprained MCL. So he played 37 games with the Bruins, 8 goals, 7 assists, 15 points. That contract expires. September 5th of 1996, he signs back with the Penguins as a UFA. Played 54 games that year for Pittsburgh. 7 goals, 15 assists, 22 points. Just plays the one playoff game. So Joe Mullen's career comes to an end there. He retires before the following season gets started. Uh, he ends up in the Hall of Fame in the year 2000. So that would have been his first year he was eligible. Played 1,062 games, 502 goals, 561 assists, 1,063 points. In the playoffs, 143 games played, 60 goals, 46 assists, 106 points. So those 60 goals in the playoffs are huge. The 500 goals in the regular season, he does get to the 500 playing with Pittsburgh in his final year, and one point more than game played. So he does stay above point per game, just barely in his career, after a couple of uh, rough seasons offensively for him there towards the end. But again, for Calgary, it definitely looks like they gave up on him too soon. Uh, Pittsburgh got the most out of him that you could hope for, and it was a remarkable run, a remarkable career, uh, with the Lady Bing trophies, Lester Patrick and all that. Yeah, he was a shoe-in for the Hall of Fame. And I'm really surprised they didn't do a video on him before. So I'm I'm writing a wrong with this one as far as I'm concerned that this video probably should have been done years ago. Years ago. But he's a Hall of Famer. He's one of the best American-born players to play the game in the National Hockey League. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.